Hey friends, welcome back to what do full-time freelance writers make for different projects and um, all that good stuff. Uh, see part one for more of like a disclaimer about my career, my work, and how I got here. Um, and I have a lot of other videos on my profile about freelancing, so check those out too. Okay, diving in. So I spent a lot of time earlier this year. I was curious if it would have been easier to just write bios for people or do like fixed rate jobs versus long term jobs. I was like, hmm, I wonder I wonder how that would feel. Um, and the interesting thing is that there's a lot of people if you are a writer and you like writing bios, a lot of people will write will pay you like 300 400 500 dollars these are all 300 dollars jobs to write their bio for linkedin and what you can do is like create a simple survey and um, write it for them i no longer do this because i much prefer long-term work with fewer clients but if you are looking to get into freelance writing this is a really easy way to do so and um i highly recommend you do it because there's a lot of demand for people to write um, bios for their website um linkedin and i highly recommend it so for this top um, uh, job, I um, uh, wrote a bunch of blogs for them about like like really short, like kind of like took information and like edited uh, like things about like alternate reality and VR. Super cool. I love doing blogs that are really interesting. And so um, that was like a fun long term job that I have for a while. So I did a lot of like kind of research based copywriting um, and I still do that now. But um, make sure that when you're blogging that you're charging hourly and not doing like or at least a dollar per word because these things do take time. If you're a freelance writer and can offer other skills, then you can kind of charge more. For this um, job in particular, I did both the bio for them and I also designed a little PDF for them, which took me no time at all, but they really liked it and I got paid $500 for that. So for this top job, I had a blast working with this client. Um, this was an $8,000 project um, that I worked on for a few months, had a wonderful time working with them. Um, I did a lot of like ghostwriting work with them. Really cool project, really fun people. Um, and actually the, they flew me out to go see them, which was very cool. Love working with them, very neat assignment. Um, I love working with longer term clients because it's more fun and you get to get to know them and um, it just kind of feels more satisfying. So I definitely, for myself, like because I'm a full-time um, freelance writer, I definitely prefer like the longer term clients. And then with a blow job, um, I helped with a book proposal for that one uh, for thousand dollars. Basically, when you're pricing your jobs, you definitely want to think about like, if you're doing a bunch of new clients, they're going to need a little bit more onboarding. You're going to need to get to know them. So it does take a lot of time to kind of like really do a really good job for a client unless you kind of have a pretty cut and dry way of what in which you kind of do a project like a bio. Um, I found personally that the long term clients are nice because you get the rapport and you also don't have to be constantly like onboarding and communicating with new clients and getting to know them. Follow for more tips.